Hello, circuit riders. We have a brief interlude this week in our RV travels. For the first time ever, I did not have a time to put together a video this week, and there's two reasons why. Maybe we have some good news and some bad news. So the good news is that we have spent the last uh, weekend in Lancaster, PA with my family. Our kids came down and we were able to have a beautiful little bridal shower for Bryn, and uh, James and Jaron were able to come and spend some time with the guys. So we were so grateful to have that wonderful weekend with family, and that meant that we were very busy and I didn't get to editing. The second reason is when we left Lancaster, PA, we stopped overnight to have some work done on the RV at our dealership uh, and that all seemed to go fine and then we left there the next day to drive towards Massachusetts. Well, on our way through Connecticut, something terrible underneath the RV happened. Uh, we kept hearing people pass us and honking and we suspected that maybe they were trying to point something out to us, but we couldn't see what it was. Eventually, after a couple of hours, we could see that the back of our RV had some smoke coming out of it. Now, nothing dire, no flames or anything, but we immediately pulled over to the side of the road and we could see that the leaf springs on the back axle had broken. And so the axle is still on the RV, but the supports that hold it were uh, broken and twisted. And so as a result, the entire back end of the RV is sitting down on the tires in the back and the tires were constantly rubbing against the underside of the RV and started to smoke. So we were able to limp our way to a truck stop, thankfully, with plenty of room for us to park overnight. They were very gracious to us there. They said, park wherever you want, you know, stay overnight in your RV. So we did that. The next day, we got a tow to a wonderful little local RV repair shop that our insurance company recommended. And we are super um, hopeful that they will be able to fix everything. They seemed to know what they were doing, and we were really comfortable leaving our RV with them. The, uh, the rub is that our RV is going to be out of commission for at least a week and a half, maybe longer. So we are in a hotel. <laughs> we have a lovely one bedroom suite with a full kitchen, which we found one that was an hour from Jaron in Connecticut and an hour from Bryn and James in Boston. So this is really working out fine. Um, we're, we're able to spend time with both kids over the next couple of weeks and get some wedding planning done. Um, we're looking at a wedding in early September. So we're just, making the best of this lemons here and making lemonade and we're going to have a great week with our kids and getting some rest done you know Bryn said i was saying the other day that one of the drawbacks of living full-time in an rv is that uh we don't really go away on vacation so normally when people go away on vacation they're away from their house they're away from the projects and the stress of everyday life and they can just really relax well when you're in your rv full-time you're, you're not getting away from your house ever. You still have all those projects and life and stuff to do. So Bryn said, oh, look, now you can be away from your house for a while and have a little rest. So we're taking advantage of that. And um, so thankful that the RV insurance policy that we have um, covers emergency housing. So all of our stay here at the hotel is paid for by our insurance for as long as we need um, up to a certain limit, you know, until the RV gets fixed. So we are hopeful uh, that the RV will be able to be repaired. I think there's more extensive damage to the underside than we had initially thought. We might need some work on the underside of the slide gears and uh, you know new welding pieces on there. But just wanted to give you an update and um, let you know that there's no travel video this week. Hopefully next week we'll be back in Door County, Wisconsin, and we can continue on our travels. So until then, I hope you have a great week and get out and enjoy the summer weather. Bye, guys.